Morning guys, welcome back to the channel <clears throat> and welcome back to another video on the little Volkswagen Beetle cheap flip that we're doing all the little jobs on. In today's video, you are going to see a change of clothes because <laughs> today is Friday. I've already put four videos out this week. I'm going to be doing the tie rod ends, the track rod ends, taking it over, getting a wheel alignment. I'm still waiting on those window regulators. So I will be coming back to it another day. Part's gonna be filmed now. The other part's gonna be filmed another day. So I thought I would pre-warn you all there. Um, nobody ever seems to pick up on it when I do do the videos over a couple of days and have a change of clothes. And in the summer, I actually kept swapping my sunglasses throughout the day from gold to another pair. And no one ever picked up on that either, which really, really did shock me because I actually thought somebody would pick up on it in the end and I did it as a bit of a ploy to see if anyone picked up on it. So yeah, I'm gonna get it, put it on time lapse, get it up on the ramp, get the wheels off, start stripping it back and I'm gonna kind of do a in and out video on it like the old school videos when we first started out just so that we can get you guys more involved so that you can see what's going on and what is entailed if you actually wanna do this job yourself. So let's stop waffling on and get involved. It all happened so fast on that time lapse. Sometimes I think, is it really worth it? But in, when I first started out the videos, I used to come in, talk like this, say what I was gonna do, cut out, do the job, and then come back and show you that I'd done it. And I think even though time lapse is very fast, I know you guys can slow it down up to three times. Um, so, you know, that that is the best I can do. But I think the time lapse does show me doing it. So. As usual, I am going to tell you exactly what I'm doing. I did just have a look. The brake discs look cracking and the front brake pads actually look like brand new in it. So that's quite handy. I'm not going to have to do those. But guys, these are the track rod ends, obviously. And these are the tie rod ends. So I'm going to have to get this nut undone. Get this out. I'm going to time lapse it. Um, get a screwdriver in here. Get these open. There's one further back. I have full locked it to the left hand side so that that is extended out as far as it can. And then hopefully, they're not all like it, but the new tie rods, I've got one here, have got the big bolts on the end of them. So if you remember on the little uh, Fiestas, these are actually round and you have to get a pair of Stilsons on them or a pair of mold grips and really go for it. So these have got the bolts on them. I'm kind of hoping that they have as well. I, don't, I haven't done them on a Volkswagen, and if I have, it was a long time ago. So if it has got these bolts on the end, it will be very, very easy. So uh, let's, uh, let's get on with it. simple and we are ready to go with that now you would have seen me with the gun trying to undo this nut guys in an ideal world you've got to stick a bar through there sometimes and really lever down on that in order to get that nut undone and you believe it or not you have actually got a lot more chance of not having to do that by using a ratchet I was using the Ratley gun and it vibrates so much it actually popped it out so I'll pop those seals off we'll be putting new ones on and then you slide that down and it does reveal the big nut. Um, you, sorry, I got getting ahead of myself there. That did start spinning. So what I did was got the little battery grinder in there and I actually cut round the bolt and I actually cut it off and it, it just makes life easier and that popped out on its own. So the issue with this car is this. As you can see, there's no resistance in that whatsoever. And on the new one, I am gonna actually try and just temporarily screw it on there, on camera. I think you all probably get the gist and know exactly what I mean anyway, but well, I'm not sure how long this thread is, but it's going a while. Right, so 
you can see that is just floppy as anything on the end. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm going to try and pop that up. That is as floppy as anything there. And the new one obviously has quite a bit of resistance in it. And when I screw that in there, you'll see that won't move. And that is how it should be. I'm not going to screw it in all the way, but there you go. And any position you put that in, it will stay. There's quite a big resistance in that. And these do wear out on cars, and not a lot of people do realise that is a wear item. It, you know, it's a born socket, and it's a wear item like your lower lower joints and, and your seals. All of it goes. We've got the new track rod end here. Obviously, that's going to be going on the end. Um, I'll say it again. I've said it in previous videos, and I will say it again. A lot of people said... Rob, that's never going to work, but to be fair, we're not doing it for perfection. I will measure this track rod end and this arm together once I've got this. Um, I've got to take this track rod end off. Sorry, I'm doing it again. I've got to take this track rod end off to undo this nut to actually get the dust cover off. Or the gator, whatever you'd like to call it. We, we all know what I mean, but I'm going to need to take that off to do that. But I will measure the exact overall length of that. And try when I put this back together, I want it as near as I can. People say, but it, it's going to be out. And I know it's going to be out. But that does get it pretty close to where it needs to be. We're going to be taking the car over today for alignment. That will be in the video. But I do want to try and get it as best I can. Because when it's a little bit out, it is very, very uncomfortable to drive and very dangerous. So I do like to try and get it the best I can. Otherwise, you're going to go down the road and have two wheels facing at each other and it, it, it doesn't make for very good driving so let's carry on get that one stripped down get that track rod end off get this um gator put back on that one and try and get it all back together so as you can see there guys there's the old one and what i've done was literally prop that in the um in the bench clamp stuck the other one next to it and wound the nut down absolutely as far as i possibly could and there's the old track rod end. And I did have a good feel at the end of that as well. And that's quite loose. So the new one is all now done. All completely back together. I'm going to chuck that in there. And then we'll start the uh, process of doing the other side. And it's going to be exactly the same. So guys, as you would have seen there, it was pretty much the same process as the other side. I did end up cutting the nut off. It started spinning when I tried doing it with the gun. Um, just pull that out of the way. This one is actually, oh, let me blue roll. This one is actually 10 times worse. It's got so much play in it. And if I can kind of get you down there a bit closer to it, hear that donking that's actually got quite a lot of play in it and that is a main steering component so it does just go to show you you know they do want looking at and they do want checking and for the i mean what was the price 44 pound for two new track rod ends and two new track rod arms it is you know it's unbelievable it, it just got to be done they do wear out and they need changing so we're up to about ninety thousand on this car so they have done quite well considering but it was so cheap. Um, what I'm going to do, I've just put, sprayed some WD-40 on this. They are very, very tight. They do have like a 12 mil up here where you get a spanner on it and then get your 17 on here and try and undo it. But they're so tight. Don't forget, you know, that is, that's been on there from the day this car was made. So what I'll do is actually stick this in the vise and then get a big pair of adjustables or a spanner on it and get it cracked off. And then what I'll do is, I, w I wasn't going to show it, but... I am going to go over to the bench in a minute and then try and explain what it is I meant about trying to get it about right. For those of you that don't really understand it, it'll be really nice to probably show it. So I will chuck it in the tripod and try and get as much of that as I can. So I'll get this off, get over to the bench and I'll be straight back. So hopefully it was worth putting this little bit in there, guys. I have taken the track rod end off of it now. And obviously the back of the nut there is all quite grimy. So what I'll try and do is get it as clean as you can, just on one edge there, 
with a screwdriver, a Stan, uh, Stanley blade or a hacksaw blade or anything like that. And if you clean that up so it's quite nice and shiny, silver and clean, you can kind of see roughly where that nut goes back to. And then I'll wind the nut off. That was quite tight, but it has come undone. And obviously the cleaner, the further you get up the thread, the cleaner it becomes. And you can, let me just have a quick look. You, you can probably just about catch that on the camera there. There's like quite a nice line where I've cleaned now. So we'll wind that off. Like I said earlier, I've got the 12 mil bit in the vise. It really does make it easier. And then we'll slide off the boot. And there's your old one, absolutely knackered. We'll get the new one now. Sorry, going ahead of myself there because I'm uh, talking while I'm filming. So we'll whip the nut off of it. We'll get the boot on. And then we'll stick the nut back on. But what I will do is stick the old one. I shouldn't have took the old one out of the vise. I'm doing it a little bit around the wrong way because I'm doing it twice. But we'll stick that back in the vise now that the boot is removed off of it. And we'll stick that nut back on. And then what we do is we'll do it up to that nice little clean line that we made. Let's just go back and make sure I get it in the vise. Right, there it is there. So obviously it's cleaned up quite a lot now, so it doesn't have to go, it's not as hard to get back on. But if you keep turning that nut, and there you see, we've just got that little line. So to me, that, that is roughly, it's not gonna be spot on, but that is roughly back where it was. So now, this one, wind it down as much as you can. And then what I did, stick that one in the vise, get it the best you can by eye, and then, There's actually, you can't, you're not really gonna see it on camera unless I wind it down and do it again. So we've got a big gap here. Obviously there is a difference. So if we just turn this nut and keep turning it. So our top nut's touching the old one and then we just keep winding it down and now the bottom one's touching. So to me, they are almost spot on in length. The overall length of the drumstick itself is exactly the same. There's no tolerance or difference in it. I have measured them and they are absolutely spot on. So that is now on there and I think that that is roughly where it should be. When I wind this on, the track will end, you wind it up and it goes to turn the nut. So we get it as close as we possibly can. Again, guys, I do apologize for the filming because I wasn't actually gonna film this. So as soon as it touches, it starts to turn the nut. So you do just overturn it ever so slightly. So there now we've got, let's go to a quarter of a turn on the nut. And then we'll put the track rod end in the vise. And we'll just nip that nut up. But the good side to this is, we, haven't, we don't want to over tighten them. And we don't have to go too mad because as soon as this is on, I'm taking the car over for wheel alignment. And that'll be so handy for them. They'll love this when it arrives and this is all new because it's not often that it happens for them and it makes their life so much more easier. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of the video. Let me know, you know, and if you did enjoy it, I'll stick more little bits and bobs like this in the other videos and how I'll get round things and how I'll do them just to get me to where I'm going. As usual with me waffling on in the beginning of this video I said that I was gonna try and uh, get everything done pause it save it wait till the window regulators come out and then <clears throat> pick up sorry about that where I left off 
and actually do just one video on it but we're up to about 15 minutes now so this is going to be a completely separate video well, i am just going to go over to wheel alignment we'll document that on this video as well but i just wanted to just quickly reach out to you guys and obviously reach out to some companies that have previously sent me some stuff. I'm not gonna be doing anything with them today. I'm not gonna get involved in doing any videos with them. But like this boss cam, they have emailed me a couple of times. I know another YouTuber's done a video on one of these recently. They sent me that, as you can see, it's wrapped up. I've had that since November last year and I just haven't got round to doing it. I don't wanna do a whole video on it. I just wanna, we'll fit it and we'll let you know what we think of it. And this company was absolutely brilliant and it's the last coat and they sent me all the cleaning products for a car and again guys i received this in november or december and i just haven't got round to doing it so i just thought i'd place them out here today give some a little bit of a shout out and it lets you know that i'm going to be using these products when i do give this car a spin up a buff and a polish and we'll be going around using this shampoo and the amplifier and all that sort of thing but yeah, that, that's that, guys. Let's get over and get the wheel alignment done. So we've made it over to the alignment, and guys, and it did drive really, really nice, but it's put it straight on the computer, and it is out. We expected it to be out. You know, we have just changed all those parts. Um, he is in there training another guy, so I don't want to invade their space or get, you know, get too involved under there. They know their job. I'll let them get on with it, and uh, I'll come back as soon as we get back to the yard. So that's it guys, all tracked up. I've just driven it home, it is seven miles and it drives straight as an arrow now. And I think this car is as safe as it can possibly get. The last thing we got to do is those window regulators. As soon as I get in tonight, I've ordered them off eBay. I'll chase them up, see where they are and we'll do the uh, final video on this. And in that video, it's gonna be, you're not gonna be able to show a lot because it is quite tight in there but I'm gonna fold the roof back, show as much as I can when we're doing that. And then what I'll probably integrate into that video is giving the car a good polish, a machine polish with the mop and using some of them products I mentioned earlier. We give them a go and see what they're like. So they did just send them to me to do a review. So if, if they're any good, then they're gonna see that in that video and I'll, I'll let them know that they're good. So don't panic guys, I'm not gonna make this channel start doing a load of reviews. I'm not interested in them. I'm here for, for you guys and working on these cars. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that we can do on the car today. I've put a couple of sneak peeks out and I always mention it on Instagram at Selvage Rebuilt if you haven't already started following us on there. And it's got really mucky just driving over there. Um, check out the merch store guys. Got some really, really good t-shirts and I've just been over there and picked up um, a couple each for me and Chris and one for a future project so if you enjoy this video as usual please give it the thumbs up we really do appreciate it. it helps the channel grow if you've got any questions or want to leave it any comments please feel free as usual to leave those in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can um, if you if you don't mind sharing the video with your friends, we'd really, really appreciate it. We want to get it out there and just, you know, get the channel as big as we can and continue doing these videos. I'll just put these out here to show you. I've just been over and picked this up. And this one really is just a little bit of a sneak peek, guys, of what is to come. You know I'm an avid follower of Scott. He really helped me out with my 360 with a gearbox. We will be doing a collaboration. And I've literally, I asked him to do a couple of these t-shirts, one for me, one for Scott because we are gonna be doing a collaboration later on this year in the future. So check out the merch store, guys. You'll see all that there anyway. I won't go on about that anymore. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next one.